Welcome one and all. I'm Mark Passio of WhatOnEarthIsHappening.com. I'm here to tell you something that almost certainly no other speaker anywhere is going to tell you. What I have to say to you will not be easy or pleasant for most of you to hear, but it is the truth nonetheless, and it needs to be said and heard. You're all here in Philadelphia protesting the lockdown and the mask mandates for this so-called pandemic. And you believe that taking a stand against such tyrannical government mandates makes you all the good guys. And what I'm here to tell you today is that you just taking a stand against those types of government measures such as the lockdowns, the mask mandates, does not make you the good guys. So before you immediately tune me out, let me explain what I mean by that statement. I'm just as much against the lockdowns and mask mandates as anyone else here is. In all likelihood, I'm far more against them than anyone else here. The lockdowns and mask mandates, however, aren't the actual problem. They are symptoms of the problem. The actual problem is a matter of what most human beings, unfortunately, still to this day believe in their own mind. And very unfortunately, I must tell you that the vast majority of you here today are still part of that problem because of what you yourselves still believe you are still driving the negative dynamic in this situation based upon a false belief that you still hold. This belief is that the very concept of authority over others can possibly be morally legitimate. The belief in authority is the belief that some people have more rights than others. It is the belief that some can rightfully command others. It is the belief that some are rightful masters, while others have a moral obligation to obey this master class who calls themselves government. By any true definition, what this really is, is slavery, if we are being honest with ourselves. And if we are truly being honest with ourselves, the belief in the moral legitimacy of authority is the belief that slavery is morally legitimate. This belief is the real virus. And this belief is what has morally infected the overwhelmingly vast majority of the human population, including most of you here today. For the past 15 years, I've been doing nothing else but trying to teach people true morality. The actual, real, definitive, and objective difference between morally right thought and action versus morally wrong thought and action. And based upon what I'm seeing in the world today, I've had little to no success. Because most people still believe in the authority of government with religious fervor. Not only is the belief in the moral legitimacy of government a false religion, which is antithetical to true morality, But the belief in authority in general is the textbook definition of a cult. A cult is formed when adherence to a false belief system become physically dangerous to those who do not adhere to its sick beliefs by conducting and condoning violence and coercion against the non-believers. The belief in government is the belief that some people have the so-called right to engage in violence and coercion against others who have not initiated aggression against others. The very belief of condoning such an immoral condition makes someone a bad person. Yes, it does. Let me repeat that. The very belief or condoning of such an immoral condition, the slavery of government, makes someone a bad person. Yes, it does. The very belief or condoning of such an immoral condition 
as believing in the moral legitimacy of authority and government makes someone a bad person. Yes, it does. You see, most people here today want to end the lockdowns because the lockdowns affect them personally. But if actually given the chance, they would have government coerce others in whatever ways they want. If they held its reins, if they held that kind of power in their hands, then it would be a different story. Most people don't want to dismantle the very apparatus of government. They want to control it. They want to wield it. And they wrongly believe they can control such an immoral institution. That is one of the primary reasons why you cannot be a truly good person and support and believe in the moral legitimacy of government. Just ask yourself this simple question. Was the very concept of kingship in the old world ever morally legitimate? Was it ever morally legitimate for a king to claim that he is the ruler over everyone in the land that constituted his kingdom? That his word was law? And that anyone who disobeyed his edicts would be subject to the violence of his order-following henchmen? Was that ever morally legitimate, that condition? Of course it was never morally legitimate. But what has really changed in the modern world? Nothing. Nothing has changed. Today, most people do not believe in the authority of kings and queens. But we have merely replaced the concept of kingship with the concept of authority vested in government. In the old world, the belief in authority was vested in one person who called himself the king or the queen. But in the modern world, we've taken the exact same idea and simply taken the belief of authority which was previously vested in one human being and we have divested it into an oligarchical group of masters and called it government. It is just as immoral as it ever has been. But even more insidiously, it is even more difficult than ever before for most people to understand that this condition called the belief in authority is completely immoral. It's more difficult today for people to understand that that is immoral. They actually believe in its moral legitimacy today. Anyone who supports and condones the very belief in government is actually in a cult. They are cult members. And almost all of them don't even know that they're members of a cult. Those who believe in and support the continuation of this cult by their own beliefs are supporters of slavery and believe that the condition of slavery should continue. That constitutes the very definition of what it means to be a bad person. And such bad people are creating the chaos that we are experiencing through what they do and what they condone. Everyone who adheres to this cult belief system is complicit in what is happening and is bringing even worse conditions down upon themselves and everyone else. The cult of government's believers and its order followers are keeping the system of slavery that we are experiencing in the world today in place. Unfortunately, they actually deserve the slavery that they themselves have allowed. The problem is that they're dragging many, many, many others who do believe in true rights and true freedom down into that morass with them. The definitive matter-of-fact truth is that there is no authority vested in humanity. The laws of the creator of the universe are the only authority in nature. Our rights come from the creator of the universe and its spiritual moral laws not from humankind, not from government. You cannot petition an illegitimate authority for rights that are your birthright. Government has no moral legitimacy to exist. 
and no so-called authority has the right to make a claim of ownership upon your body, your property, or the fruits of your labor. Any such claim is the claim of ownership upon you, which is called slavery. Sadly, the vast majority of you still don't know this. The vast majority of you would still vehemently disagree with such truth due to the mental programming you have been subjected to over the course of your lives. All of your protests and appeals to government for your rights will never amount to anything until you understand that the very concepts of authority and government are the real viruses. They are mind control programs. They are the real enemy. And unfortunately, most of you still believe in their legitimacy. Your very belief in the idea of authority is what is fueling the power over this master class to rule over you. And because most of you still steadfastly refuse to abandon that cult belief, do not expect your situation to improve. Expect it to become vastly, gravely worse. The only solution is to develop an understanding of natural law, the moral laws that truly govern our entire universe and our own human existence by ensuring that we personally experience from this world exactly what we have put into this world through our thoughts and actions. When you study how natural law works, you will discover that whether humanity experiences freedom or slavery is part of this body of moral laws. I personally refer to this dynamic as the law of freedom. As the morality of humanity collectively increases, humanity collectively becomes and remains more free. And as the morality of humanity collectively decreases, humanity collectively becomes and remains more enslaved. All you need to do is observe the manifested result. Are we as a species free or are we as a species enslaved? And if you're honest about the answer that, to that question, answering it will allow you to see exactly how truly moral we are as a people, as a species. If we're being honest with ourselves this isn't very encouraging. And to be even more honest and frank, most of you are contributing to the negative manifestation, the negative result, by the very nature of what you yourselves still cling to in your belief system, which is false and immoral. Until your own mind changes, the reality around you cannot become changed for the better. That is universal law. We are manifesting exactly what we do not want because we are, as a species, almost completely unconscious of how the real laws of manifestation work. They work, better up, they work based upon whether we are truly moral beings or not. And as a species, we are most certainly immoral beings because of what we believe and what we continue to condone. Humanity deserves what it gets and will get what it deserves according to the natural law, the laws of the creator of the universe, the only legitimate authority in this world. The negative manifestations that are existing and will continue to exist are manifestations of our own thoughts and actions, and they will continue to worsen until we make the conscious free will decision to change what we believe. This shift in consciousness will not be easy or fun. As a matter of fact, because of our insistence and persistence in believing what is false and believing in and condoning what is immoral, this change in conscious, consciousness will be a tremendous great work. We must rid ourselves of our false belief in authority or else nothing is going to change for the better. You yourselves much, must go much further than the halfway point in awareness at which most of you have stopped. If you do not each, as individuals, make that great change of awareness inside yourself, the negative result you receive 
will manifest because you yourself allowed it. If you make that negative choice by continuing to believe in the moral legitimacy of authority, which is the belief in the moral legitimacy of slavery, then know that it was you yourself who chose slavery. You yourself chose these conditions. You yourself helped to helped to manifest them. Don't say I didn't warn you. I've been warning people for the last 15 years of my life. And those who have heard this and this bitter pill hasn't been so easy to swallow for you in the crowd here today, you could feel free to get as offended as you like about what I've just said here today. It won't change the definitive facts and truth of this matter. And that's all I have to say.